Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to continue our camera tools videos by going to View, Camera Tools. I'll break this off here. And here's our list of camera tools that we've already gone over the vast majority. We've already looked at the Tumble Tool, the Track Tool, the Dolly Tool, the Zoom Tool, 2D Pan slash Zoom Tool, as well as the Roll Tool. Lots of links over here. Feel free to check out any of these tools if you're interested and haven't seen them yet. Next is Azimuth Elevation Tool. Let's look at the settings for that and we'll close that window. So here, let's reset the tool. We see we have scale. Like most of these camera tools, they do have a scale slider to control the speed of how fast the camera moves in relation to how fast your mouse moves. It's kind of like a mouse sensitivity setting for the individual tools. And then rotation type, and you'll notice that rotation type is set to azimuth elevation, which makes sense since this is the azimuth elevation tool, right? Now the other option is yaw pitch. You'll notice in our camera tools, we go back to view camera tools. The next one in our list is yaw pitch. So if we were, if we were to select yaw pitch tool and go into the options, you'll see it's the same thing, except instead of rotation type being set to azimuth elevation, it's set to yaw pitch. So in our next video, we're actually going to be just switching that setting over to yaw pitch instead of azimuth elevation. So even within the yaw pitch tool, if I were to choose azimuth elevation for my rotation type, I'm literally changing to the azimuth elevation tool as opposed to the yaw pitch tool. So they both use the same settings. They just change the rotation type between the two tools. So first, we're looking at azimuth elevation. What's the words azimuth elevation mean? So the angle of my camera's view in relation to the ground is the elevation. I'm elevating the camera up and looking so I'm looking down at the ground or at my center of interest that which is down there. And then the azimuth is kind of when you go side to side you get this kind of rotating view like this. And it's, it's kind of, and what that is, is the angle of view to the plane perpendicular to the ground, which is what that's controlling. So if you were to imagine a perpendicular grid cutting through this middle black line going up and down as if it's like a tree sticking out of the ground or a fence line along the ground, the azimuth is controlling the kind of a sideways elevation to that invisible plane. Might be, how about we go ahead and just make a plane, so maybe that will demonstrate it better. Let's go to Polygon's plane here. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and just kind of set it here like this. Okay, so back to our camera tool, azimuth elevation. So again, up and down, I'm rotating or I'm elevating the camera from the ground, which is the grid. Elevating up. So whenever I, so whenever I go to the side, let's get a better view. Like this, if you can imagine the plane as being the, a kind of sideways ground, as if you're looking at the earth sideways and I'm elevating up from that plane this way. And that is the azimuth. So pitching up and down according to the ground plane is considered the elevation of the camera. Pitching left and right according to this perpendicular plane, the angle of that is considered the azimuth. Not sure how well that makes sense. And I, to be honest, I don't really use this tool that much. The only time I can remember in my life of caring about azimuth and elevation is whenever I'm setting up a satellite dish uh, to make sure it's getting a signal. Um, so I don't really use it in Maya too much, but you know it's an interesting tool, interesting name I guess. Now you can notice that as you are azimuthing and elevating around, your camera can get kind of screwy, especially in relation to the ground plane here. If I were to turn off the azimuth elevation tool and go back to my normal rotate tool, I am really off from the grid. So it's, it might be a little difficult to work like this, because I'm really at a real weird angle. You can go to View, Predefined Bookmarks, Perspective to reset my camera back to its original position.
The only other thing about azimuth elevation is if you hold down the shift key, should hold shift, left click and drag, I'm actually constrained only to elevation. Like my azimuth is not changing, it won't go left and right. It'll only shift up and down with the elevation of the camera. That's just holding down the shift key, kind of constraining it like that. So that was the azimuth elevation tool. Uh, again, we'll talk about the other option in there, the yaw pitch, in the next video, since it's essentially using the same settings for two different tools. So, we'll see you next time.